with lots of families relocating from Africa across the world, especially in Canada, U US and the UK, this video is timely. This is for um, wives who relocate abroad, women in diaspora, wives in diaspora, who totally change their behavior uh, because of the pressure of that comes with working, taking care of the children, paying the bills. And suddenly, a woman maybe back home in Africa, you know, everything was, okay, maybe not perfect, there's no marriage that is perfect, but things were great with her, her husband, the husband was paying the bills, you know, doing his, his very fair share of the work, or maybe not doing so well and maybe 50-50, because things are tough now. Hardly you see men who are able to, you know, shoulder all the bills in a house. It's tough, you know, so the women are helping, but when they come abroad, it's I would say it's easier for the women to find jobs, right? And then they start earning a lot of money, pounds or dollars. And suddenly, they have a big voice at home now. They feel, you know, I don't know, maybe people are influencing them or friends are influencing them or maybe they maybe they were not happy in their marriage, marriages before and suddenly they found a very big voice. Now they misbehave. They insult their husbands. They're highly disrespectful. They tell him all the time, I, I cannot be paying all the bills, doing all the work in the house, and doing this, and you don't do anything. No, 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 And the man is thinking, who married who? Wait. Is it me you are talking to, Kenny, or whatever the name is, or, 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 or Carol, or whatever her name is? Is it me you are talking to? <laughs> and so, I'm paying the bills, just like you. Oh, you fucked up. I'm even doing more, 70%. I saw a TikTok recently, and, you know, there's this funny... They're not they're a couple, but then they, they mimicked this you know character. They were kind of acting it out, you know, and that's what triggered me to like do this video. And I'm saying, please, that's for our women. Please show this if you are watching me, show this video to any family that you know are traveling. So to sensitize them, let them talk about these things. Prepare yourselves, it will happen. A time will come when your wife earns more money before maybe the man finds a job. Or one of them will have to be in school and the other one. So it could be a year, two years, three years. How is your wife going to behave? How, are you, how is your marriage going to stand? A lot of marriages has broken up because the men cannot take it. You know, some men have ego and everything. They will say, ah, this woman treated me this way when I had no money. After the day he gets a job and he starts working, the marriage is over. Do you understand? So sometimes I don't think the women really think very well, except maybe... The woman has already made up her mind that she doesn't want the marriage. You understand it? In that case, that's, you know, very unfortunate. But sometimes the women are just doing it because of pressure, stress, or influence. You know, some other women are telling them, ah, don't take that from your husband, though. Ah, don't take it. If it's me, I won't take it. How can I, how can I go to work, eh, 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 take care of the children, and then pay the bills? And, ah, ah. Meanwhile, those women are taking it in their husband's house. They are taking it. Stop listening to rubbish. Do what works for your family. That is what I will advise you as a woman. When, the day you married, you was the one who take, took the vow with your husband. No friend, no mother, no father took the vow with you, only you. So do what you know is right. Be respectful no matter what the situation is. Even if your, father, your husband cannot bring a dime. Trust in the Lord. All good and perfect gifts come from God. If you walk, let me tell you married woman, or married man, if you work and God does not bless that work, you might not even get paid your salary. Do you know that? There are some people who work that the company is owing them. All of a sudden, the story starts. Oh, we don't have money. Oh, we have problem with payroll. Oh, there's a hitch. Oh, there's a glitch. So all, the Bible says all good and perfect things come from God. The Bible says that except the Lord builds a house, the labor is there that they build it. So ask God to help you to be, you know, to have grace. Sorry about the microwave noise, guys. I'm warming food. Ask God for grace to be humble, even though he has blessed you. Levels changes in marriage. If your husband was mean to you before, now teach him what it feels like. <coughs> teach him what it should be, what he should have done. Instead of doing tit for tat, teach him that when you are blessed by God, you should be humble, you should be nice. You know, all of that. Do all that. Don't use that excuse to be exploding on him. You have to honor your husband. You have to be respectful. He has to honor you too. If he has done wrong, this is the time to forgive him rather than pay him back. And if he hasn't, you even don't have any excuse.
So I pray that your marriage will be blessed. Please share this video. Share, 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 like, share, sub comment, subscribe. If you know any, uh, have any lesson, uh, if you live in the diaspora, you have any lesson to share, please share it with the listeners. I pray that your marriages will be blessed, that your marriage will not dissolve, divorce, break up in diaspora. In Jesus' name, may you be stronger and more blessed in Jesus' mighty name. I pray. Amen. Love you.